Welcome in everybody to our bear rogue farming guide. As you can see, I am a level four bear, and today I'm gonna show you how to easily and safely loot rogues, even if you pick bear this wipe. So let's go. All right, so as we approach the water treatment plant, or at least the bridge that leads us to it, do not get too close to either bridge, either the overground one or to the under one, because the rogues will decimate you, <laughs> and it's not pretty. Instead, we're gonna come to this little construction trailer park area, and we're going to take these steps to our left, and we're going to have a nice lie down on this cool metal. And from here, you can see his glasses in the distance. We can see the rogues, and they're not shooting at us. As a bear player, that is terrific. Now, from here, there's two outcomes. You headshot him. Terrific. You can then take the underground bridge and go to the rocks over to the left. We're going to take out the rest of the rogues. Sometimes if you headshot him, the other gunner will swing over. And once you cross that underground bridge, you're actually going to have a pretty easy headshot and get two rogues up there, which is ideal because that's the safest spot to loot them. Now, the other outcome, of course, is you don't hit a headshot and you shoot him in the shoulder, arm, leg, whatever. He's going to push off that tower and go into the camp. And you have two options. You can take the underground bridge, run over to those rocks, uh, and set up for when he comes back, which he will come back, and you have plenty of time to get over there. Or you can just sit here and wait for him to come back. But I like to uh, scope to 150 for this shot, personally. And uh, let's see what we get here. Perfect. A headshot. That's the ideal outcome. But even if you don't hit it and just push him off the tower, again, you're totally fine. Uh, and the key here is that you're in a spot where they're not shooting at you. But we're going to take this underneath bridge. And how you will know if the other gunner has rotated over, sometimes you'll hear grenade shots. And uh, if that happens, we'll show you how to deal with it. Otherwise, we're going to go over to the rocks on our left and uh, continue our rogue hunting adventure. Now, of course, there are mines over here. So uh, stay pretty close to the beach. Uh, the mines hurt. It's not fun. So let's not take that route. Let's just see. So the other rogue did not rotate over. Okay. So if they do, you can get a nice headshot from, uh, like, right here. They can't hit you, and you can hit them. Look, he can't. He's not, he's not hitting us. You're a clown, bro. Bang. Perfect. That's the two-for-one special that we love to see. But perfectly fine that they didn't rotate over. I'm going to show you where to take this next shot from. Uh, a really a spot you can get both of the tower rogues if you hadn't killed that first one and just pushed them off the tower. Stay pretty shallow here as the gunner on the warehouse will take some shots at you. But so long as you're not just like standing way out in the open, you're going to be fine. Um, we're coming up to these rocks here. This is kind of the first set of rocks. And we're going to want to keep this boulder here in between us and the warehouse so we get L uh, prevent LOS on that gunner. But here we are. And from here, headshot uh, uh, there. And then he, so he has pushed off his gun. You can see we get a headshot there. But let's just give it a second. Or maybe we can get him. Yeah, we can get him. Look, see, he can't get us. We can get him. Hey, don't crouch at me. Boom. So that's, having him over there, what I'll say up front is that this tower rogue right here, the close one, is like very safe to loot. That second one is very dangerous to loot. So if you're just looking for one set of rogue gear, or you just want to be able to do this consistently, I'd recommend getting that first tower. If you want to push it and you've scouted out where the ground rogues are, you can go for that second one, but it's a little bit more dangerous. Now this warehouse uh, gunner up top is the one we got to take out to get the tower loot. And we got two options uh, on the snipe here. From here, uh, you can look around and snipe him. He will aggro to you. You have about a two to three second window to get him. If you don't feel comfortable with that, what you'll do is push deeper into the rocks. And there's a spot where you can get a headshot on him. And he can't swivel over his gun enough to get you. Let's see if we can take the quick snipe here. And if we can't, we'll go to the other spot. But I will show you the other spot regardless, just so you know where it is. See? Gives you a few seconds to get over. Don't repeat it. But he gives you a few seconds to take that shot. Obviously, I didn't hit it. Uh, he's angry about it. So we're going to go over to this uh, deeper into the rocks. Where we're going to get a headshot, but he can't hit us. The only thing to worry about when you're going over here is uh, there's a second gunner on that warehouse who sometimes will rotate over. 
Uh, very infrequently, in my opinion. But enough that, you know, it's worth mentioning. But we're going, like, really deep on into these rocks. Um, all the way over. Until we see kind of the, the divide here. And from up top here. Perfect. Look at that. We can see him. He's not swiveling over to us. You see the other rogue did rotate over. Interesting. He's going to shoot at us. So we get back. He doesn't usually do that. But it's, uh, it's just nice to see it. Just so you kind of know. But you see how the gunner didn't shoot at us, right? That's the key with coming over here. Let's see if we can see the other guy. Did he just... He might have just dipped. Interesting. See, it's a little different every time, but the strategy is still sound. But again, we can see him. He can't get us. Bang. Now, since we do know that other rogue was active, that's he's usually over there. Just looking to see we can't see him. Again, this is very doable. Just be a little careful, and you're going to make it okay. But now that we've killed that gunner on top of there, and I'm just scouting out to see where the second one is. I don't see him. Means we should be okay. We're going to come back towards uh, our first sniping spot. And uh, be a little bit careful here as there are mines in the area. A uh, good rule of thumb is if you're on the rocks, you're not going to get blown up. But... So that is the gunner from the far warehouse. He's never going to actually hit you with those, so don't worry about it. But don't go in there. Swing around to the front side. And like I said, the, the rogue that we sniped up there is dangerous. The one up here is pretty safe. So we're going to go up here. We're going to get that loot. Just to prove that we can. And someone is shooting at us. But look, see, we're up here. They're shooting at us. We're totally fine. I have time to examine and grab all of this loot. But again, this one is super safe. And if you just want to get this one and then get out, that's totally cool. Because like I said, you can do this consistently, repeatably, and you're going to be fine. If you want to go for the other rogue, uh, you can. Fine. If you want to go for the other rogue, you can. Obviously, we're taking some gunfire here, so I don't necessarily recommend it. But from here, you can just take the same path out, and you've got your rogue loot. All right. Like I said, this is a little bit more dangerous, but we're going to try it just to see if we can. The key here is you're going to want to look for, like, all, any of the ground rogues. Uh, oof. Okay, so that guy's not going to shoot us, the grenade launcher. But ground rogues will. Let's get up. We got it. Perfect. Look, we got plenty of time for this. Let's take his sword and drop our gun. Take his gun. Take his pistol. So, like, we have the opportunity to get this. Watch out for the ground rogues are. This is super dangerous, and you don't have to do it. But if you're really looking to push it, um, you know, we've obviously gotten the second group of rogues. You know, we hear the shooting. That's why, like I said, it was dangerous. But, look, we got it. We're out. I just don't necessarily recommend it, but if this was helpful, please feel free to leave a like. Greatly appreciated, and I hope to see everyone on our next video.